In this video, we're going to have a look at how to use the quadratic formula, and we're going to see how we can use it to find the solutions to a quadratic equation, or to find the roots of a quadratic function. Now, the quadratic formula is to be used in conjunction with the general form of a quadratic equation, and you will see that that's on your formula sheet uh, as ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is just the number, uh, if there is a number indeed. Now, your quadratic formula is also given to you on your formula sheet, and it will be written like this. You will see that x is minus b, plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and it's all divided by 2a. Now, when will you use it? Well, the answer to that question is whenever you want. When must you use it? Well, the answer to that question is whenever the question perhaps states that you should give your, your uh, answer to maybe one or two decimal places or to one or two significant figures, um, these are clues uh, that you must use the quadratic formula because the roots or the solutions are going to be awkward. Um, again, if the question you're doing is in paper two, in the calculator paper, that is another clue that uh, you're going to perhaps have to use the quadratic formula. Now, let's have a look at this formula. Now, you see that you've got this plus or minus going on here. Now, that just means that one of your roots is got by using plus, whereas the other root is got using the minus. Okay, so one root is got when you use the plus, the other root is got when you use the minus. So let's have a look at a few examples and let's see how we get on. Okay, let's say you're asked to solve this uh, quadratic equation here. Now the first thing you've got to do is identify what a, b and c are. Now we can see there that a is 3, we can see that b is not 7 but negative 7. You've got to include the sign as well and we can see that c is negative 6. Okay, so we can then start to write down, well, x is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and it's all to be divided by 2a. Now, if we then substitute in the values, we're going to start off with negative b. Now, because b is negative 7, negative, negative 7 is just positive 7. And you're going to add or subtract then b squared minus 4ac. Now, b squared is negative 7 all squared. Now, negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. Then you're going to take away 4ac. Now, a is 3, and c is negative 6. Okay? And we're dividing the whole thing by 2a, so 2 times 3 is 6. Okay? So, tidying this up, we get 7 plus or minus the square root of... Now, 4 threes are 12. And 12 times 6, that's going to be 80, uh, 72. Okay. Now, that's going to be negative 72. So what we have here is 49 plus 72. And you're dividing the whole thing by 6. Now, what is 49 plus 72? So that gives us 7 plus or minus the square root of 1, 2, 1 divided by 6. Now, that's just 7 plus or minus 11 over 6. Now, one of our solutions is going to be using the plus. The other of our solutions is going to be using the minus. So we end up with uh, 18 over 6, which is 3. Uh, or we end up with negative 4 over 6, which we can simplify as well. So that gives us 3, and our second solution is negative 2 thirds. So this quadratic equation has solutions uh, of 3 and negative 2 thirds. The quadratic function has roots where x uh, is 3 and where x is negative 2 thirds. Okay, let's have a look at another example. In this one, again, the first thing you have to do is identify A, B, and C. 
and you can see a big clue that you have to use the quadratic formula here because you're asked to give your answer correct to one decimal place. So a is 2, b is 5, and c is 1. All our terms are positive this time. So we say x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac all divided by 2a. Sub in your net values, what do we get? We get that x is negative 5 plus or minus the square root. Now b squared will be 25. And you're taking away 4ac. Now a is 2, c is 1. And then we divide the whole thing by 2a, which is 2 times 2, which is 4. Now let's tidy things up a wee bit. So we get negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25. Now this is just going to be minus 8. You divide the whole thing by 4. And that then gives us negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 8. It's going to be 17. And you divide all of that by 4. Now one solution, as we said earlier on, is going to be got using the plus. The other solution is going to be got using the minus. So x is negative 5 plus root 17 over 4. Or negative 5 minus root 17 over 4. So that gives us a solution to one decimal place of negative 0.2. And our other solution to one decimal place is negative 2.3. And that's you done. Okay. Now, I'd like you to try a couple of questions yourselves. Okay. Um, so I want you to solve uh, 3x squared minus 5x minus 1 equals 0 to two decimal places, and also I want you to solve this one here, 3 minus 4x squared equals 10x. Now, to give you a wee clue as to what you need to do for this one, you're going to have to rearrange it in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So get everything onto one side before you do anything else. Okay, so see how you get on, and you can pause the video and check back and see if you've got the answers correct. Here's question one. Let's have a look at that. So here we say a is 3, b is negative 5, and c is negative 1. So we start off by saying x is negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac, all divided by 2a. Now, if we put in uh, our values, we get that x is negative, negative 5, which is positive 5. Then we're going to add or subtract the square root of b squared, which will be positive 25, because a negative times a negative is a positive. Then we're taking away four lots of ac. Now a is 3, c is negative 1. And the whole thing gets divided by 2a. 2 times 3 is 6. Now, let's have a look and see if we can tidy that up a wee bit. Okay, so we end up with 5 plus or minus the square root of, now, this is 25, that's going to be negative 12 times negative 1, so you're actually adding the 12, and you divide the whole thing by 6, so that gives you 5 plus or minus the square root of 37, all divided by 6. Now, one of our solutions will be got using the plus, one of them using the minus. So we'll say x is 5 plus root 37, all divided by 6. And the other one will be got using the negative. 5 minus root 37, all divided by 6. Now working that out with your calculator uh, to two decimal places, you get that your roots are 1.85 and negative 0.18. Okay, so these are your two roots to two decimal places. And that's all you have to do. Okay, let's have a look at the second question now. Remembering that we were going to have to get things in order before we do anything else. Okay, now, we start off with 3 minus 4x squared equals 10x. Now, if you are wanting to get everything onto one side, what we can do is just add 4x squared to both sides, 
and we'll also get rid of this three so we'll take three away from both sides as well okay so that leaves us with nothing on this side they cancel they cancel so we end up with zero on the left what's on the right hand side we have 4x squared we have positive 10x and we have minus 3 so that then is just if you like 4x squared plus 10x minus 3 equals 0. So you can easily identify your a, your b, and your c now that you've made one side 0. So we can say a is 4, b is 10, and c is negative 3. And now we're good to go. Get your formula, plug in the values, substitute them in. So x is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a that gives me negative 10 plus or minus the square root of b squared which will be 100 minus 4ac so we're taking away four lots of a times c now c is negative 3 make sure you include the negative and you're dividing the whole thing by 2a 2 4 add 8 okay now let's see what we've got that leaves us with negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 100. Now, that's going to be 16, and that's negative 3. So negative 3 times 16 is negative 48. You're taking away a negative 48. Taking away a negative gives you a positive. So you end up with uh, the square root of 100 plus 48. So we tidied up a wee bit more. <clears throat> we end up with negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 1, 4, 8, all divided by 8. And we can get our solutions or our roots by separating our formula at this stage. And we get negative 10 plus the square root of 1, 4, 8, divided by 8. And we also get negative 10 minus the square root of 1, 4, 8, divided by 8. And that then gives us solutions to two decimal places we get 0 0.27 and we get negative 2.77 and that's all there is to it so that's how you would use the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations and the clue to perhaps having to use it uh, is when you're asked to give your solutions to maybe a certain number of decimal places or a certain number of significant figures but remember you can use it at any time so if you forget uh, how to factorize trinomials, for example, you can just use this and it will give you your solutions. Might take you a wee bit longer, but it'll get you there in the end. So I hope that was helpful.